Hello, my name is Hamish. Uh, let's get started. So, if you face time here, you know, make sure you come right here and subscribe. Let's get started. So, make sure you come right here and subscribe to our channel. So, every time you get a notification, I'll talk about it. Okay, let's go. So, now they say, uh, without calculating the value, choose, choose the correct equation of the function. So, now, they don't want us to calculate it, but they want us to pick up which one is going to be correct. So, let me take, let me give you a trick a little bit, okay? Whenever you have a parabolic, this is parabola actually. If the parabolic, if it concave upward, okay, because look, this is the general question of quadratic. Bx plus c. So if this value of a, what is a? A is something which has an x squared, okay? So if this a, if it's greater than zero, means in other way, if a is positive, because anything positive is greater than zero, and then the graph automatically it concave upward. You understand what I'm saying? So, but if this value of a, what is a? a is something with x squared. Means if this value of a, if it's less than zero, means if it's less than zero, or in other way, when a is a negative number, means the graph is gonna conquer downward. So that one you gotta keep in your mind. For example, if somebody gives us this without calculating, okay? Let somebody say, uh, okay, somebody say, uh, Let's say 4x minus 3x squared plus 6. So first and foremost, we have to rearrange in a standard equation. Standard equation, we must start with the ax squared. So this is going to start first. Means I'll start with the negative 3x because when you never, whenever you take a number, you must take with it sign, which is negative here. Sign is on the left. So negative 3x, and then you go with something with only x, which is going to be 4x. But no sign means it's positive here. Or x and then we have a plus c c in a standard form so then after that we look this number here the one with the x square is negative so even if i don't draw i know this graph is going to conquer what it's going to conquer downward because the value of a is less than zero or you can say a is what is negative number you understand but if it's positive it's going to if it was positive let's say it was positive so it's going to conquer upward those are very, very important things. Another thing, you see this value here? This we call it y-intercept. This value of c is y-intercept. You know, value of c is y-intercept. So, meaning, if somebody give me, uh, let's say, um, for example here. So what is c? c equal to negative 7 because this graph come and cut at negative 7. Means this is y-intercept. So what c equal to negative 7. So this is the value of c. So C is a Y intercept. So now we go. So from this equation here, they say without us looking, we're gonna have to pick up quick. It's easy, man. You know, very, very easy. So we don't wanna solve now. Let's go. So if I look all of this and I look at this graph, how does this graph look? This graph has concave downward. If it has concave downward, that tells me the value of A. Is what is negative, or I can say a is less than zero. Okay, so now we know a. a is the value which is attached to the x squared. Okay, so this we know is never going to be the answer because it's already positive. Also, this is not going to be the answer because it's already positive. So these two they disqualify. So, answer the answer can be either here or it can be there, but uh, we cannot confirm only for the face party. Now, we want to go for, uh, for uh, y intercept. If you look at here, what is y intercept? Y intercept means the graph comes and cut to y. So our c equal to negative 7. So this c equal to negative 7. So between this and this, which one has negative 7? This one which has a negative 7. So this one, right hands, and this is wrong. Because this graph it comes and cut to negative 7. So the correct answer is option 3. Option 3. Now let's go to the last question. So last question is more of a... Um, uh, exponential rule. Let me explain to you exponential rule. Exponential rule. Exponential rule. Exponential rule. Exponential rule is very, very easy, man. For example, if somebody give you log, let's say 2x, and they don't give you any base here, they go to 1. They say, uh, find the value of x. Face, how do you know exponential? Exponential rule uh, is most of the time you apply when log. Is only one side and then equal to something. Can you see log of something and then equal to another? So exponential is when you have a log on one side. 
And you see here, log is on one side equal to that. So when there's no base, okay, if somebody give log, let's say, kt, this is base and this is the log. So log k base t, that's how you read. So like log m base c. So this is log 2x, do you have no any base? No base. So we're going to do this. If you don't have a base, means it's under base 10 by nature. So now let's apply exponential rule. Because exponential rule, you must have a base. So now you push this one to the right. So if you push here, it's going to be 10. You see this number here is going to go to the top. It's going to become z power. And then take this one, drag it here. 2x. And the log will disappear. So this is what you have now. So 2x equal 10 power 1 equal to 10. So to get x divided by 2, divided by 2. So this is this constant, x equal to 5. You know what I'm saying? x equal to 5. Okay, one more exponential rule. Somebody give you, let's say, uh, log, uh, log, let's say, uh, 3k, and they give you 2 here, and here they give you 0. They say, solve the value of k. So first and foremost, you're going to think, hmm, my God, I'm going to solve this easy. So is it exponential? Yes, exponential. How do I know? Because the logarithm is only one side. So what I'm going to do here is, man, I'm going to push this to the right. And when you push, this is going to become 2. And then this, remember, is going to become to the top is power. And then equal, log is going to disappear. And then write this 3x. But any number power 0 equal to 1. Any number power 0 equal to 1. So 2 power 0 equal to 1. And then we have a 3x. So if you want to get x, Divided by 3, divided by 3. This is this constant, so x equal to 1 over 3. So I can just flip and say x equal to 1 over 3. Oh, so I think now you understand exponential rule. Let's go to our business here. Let's go to our business. Exponential rule. So now let's look for the face one. Does the face one qualify to be exponential rule? Oh, yes. Why? They say uh, the logarithmic function because this function has a log, that's why I call it logarithmic function, that does not have a solution of x equal to 3. Like, which one after it has been rewritten in exponential? It means you're going to have to take all of this and then try to rewrite it, and after writing it, you have to say, okay, is exponential or not. So, now, we're going to have to look like which one is going to give x equal to 3. Which one does not have the solution of x equal to 3? x to 3. So now, let me start for the face one. So I'm going to say, okay, let me take this one here. Okay, now let's start for the face one. So first and foremost, uh, can I apply exponential here? Yes, you can. Why? Because you have a log on one side. So I'm going to say, no. 6 to 4, base 2 equal to 2x. Two what happened? 2x, excuse me. <laughs> Not 2, 4, 2x. Two I'm going to push this one to the right. So this is going to become 2, and this is going to become to the top 2. And here, I'm only going to left with 64. Log is going to disappear. So, log is going to disappear. So, now this will be, uh, okay. So, now, another rule. You see, base rule. This rule is very, very important. If somebody give me 2a equal to 8, this 2a, find the value of a. So, you know, we have a rule in logarithm uh, when the base are the same. So, now, you see this 2a? Let me make this 2 power something. So 8 means 2 power 3. 2 power 3 equal to 8. And we have 2a. So my intention is to make the base are the same. So if you have an equal sign in between, like you have a 2a equal to 2a. If you have an equal sign in between and the base are the same, means this and this, they just go, they disappear. So your a equal to 3. But not like this. They are the same because this 3 is not equal to negative 3. So 3 is not equal to negative 3. So for that case, x cannot be equal to 2. You know what I'm saying? So for that case now, I'm going to come here and say, okay, 64, 64, 2 power what? So now I'm going to have to think, okay, which number, 2 power which number is going to be 64? This is going to be 2 power 6 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should be 2 power 6. 2 is power 6. Yeah, 2 power 6. Equal 2 power 2. Like, see the base are the same? So only if there is an equal sign and then you equate the top. So 6 equal to 2x. So divide by 2, divide by 2. So x equal to 3. So x equal to 3. So the first one, yes, it gives us x equal to 3. So this one, you do qualify. You give us x equal to 3. Now we go for the second one.
Okay, for the second one, we do the same game. So uh, we're gonna push this to the right. So if I push to the right, all I'm gonna be left with X, and this nine is gonna come here, and this negative half is gonna go to the to the top. You know what I'm saying? So remember, there's a rule called as proper rule. If you have let's say X negative two, this same is saying, okay, if I have five, which number is here? Means it's like one times. If you have a three, which number is here? It's like one times three. Even if you don't write it. If you say uh, I'm Hamish, how many Hamish is one? So if I say x negative two means this is one times. So what you do when you reciprocate, you see this? If you only reciprocate something with an exponential. So write your one down how it is and then take everything to the bottom. So this negative graph is going to become positive. One more rule. Okay, so if somebody give me three, y or negative one, a half. So what does that mean? Three, just three, has nothing to do with it, reciprocation. So this rule really called reciprocation, reciprocation. So, and then I'm going to say three, y, q, uh, negative a half. So three is just a number, but uh, what you reciprocate is this number with it, exponential. So all this is going to go to the bottom, you see it's going to come under. So we're going to have a y, and this is going to change. Everything, you just take everything to the bottom. The only thing you change is sign. You see the sign here? It's going to become positive now. It's not negative anymore, it's positive. So that's how you reciprocate. So I'm right here. I want to get the value of x, because what did you say? We push this one to the right, and then this three, uh, 9 came here, and then this one go to the top, is exponential, how it goes where? So this one is saying x equal. So which number is here with this, if there's no number? This is it? 1. So I'm going to say 1 over exactly to the bottom. So it's going to be 9 power, power positive half now. So this is going to be x equal to 1 over. Uh, but when you say it's positive half, anything, if you say, let's say y a half, this is like the square root of y. t a half means square root of t. So this let me say square root of 9. You know what I'm saying? So this is 1 over. When you square root 9, you get 3. Oh, so x equal to 1 over 3. So this does not give us... 3, it gives us 1 over 3. So, you brother here, you're not qualified because you give us 1 over 3, which is not equal to 3. So, this is not correct. Now, let's go to the next one. We want to uh, go all of them. Okay, now, let's go for third option. So, third option. Okay, now, we, got, uh, we have... Uh, log so we're going to push this one to the right because how do you know exponential because logarithm on one side so you see 36 equal to push that 2x right there it's going to be 2x power 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 2 you know what i'm saying so this meaning 36 36 and then we say so both of them to have a square means 2 power 2 2 square, which is going to give us 4, take 2 square, which is 4, and then x square also is going to be x square. So what I'm going to do here, uh, if I want to get the value of x, I must divide by 4 first, divide by 4, this and this cancel, so x square equal to, 36 divided by 4 equal to 9. So now if you want to get x is easy. So I'm going to say, okay, square root on the left and square root on the right. So my x equal, whenever you square root, look at this, very, very important, okay? If somebody gives, let's say, t square equal to 4. If you square root on the left and on the right, what happened? t equal to square root of 4 equal to 2. But this must be plus or minus. Even though here I know in the option, they're not going to give you the but from now on you have to know. Only if you square root both sides. So if somebody gives, let's say this is k, uh, 2k square equal to uh, 32. So what I'm going to do? Divide by 2, divide by 2, this is this constant, so x squared equal to. Uh, k is equal to 16. So since I squared both sides, our k must be plus or minus. When you square 16 equal to 4. Plus or minus 4. So for this case here, we know it's going to be plus or minus 3. So what? x equal to plus or minus 3. That's our x. But I'll pick it because there's a 3 also. But in mathematical, in reality, uh, if I had to give like, like if I had to write, it has to be plus or minus 3. So this one also give us is x equal to 3. You know what I'm saying? So when is going to only be like only 3? Okay, only 3. Somebody, let's say, give you, uh, let's say, t. Or any value. Every time, every time, t. Let's say, uh, y square 
equal to 9, something like this. So you, you don't square both sides like they give y square equal to square root of 9. So do you square root both sides? No, it's like they have given you already this one. So it's like, oh, finish! Also, okay, y equal to square root of 9 equal to 3. So you don't have to say plus or minus because they have already given you. But if you do both sides on left and right, then it has to be plus or minus. Now, let's go to the last one. Let's be quick, man. Let's go to the last one quick. Oh, my God. Okay, so for the last one. So we got low. So we're going to push that one to the right. So here I'm going to be left to 27. And then this is going to go to the right, which is 1 over x. And then this is going to become as a power, which is going to become negative 3. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I like this. So you know what you do here? Look. I love this. So you know what you do? You see this negative, right? If you reciprocate, look. If you reciprocate, this is, you flip them. So let's forget, this is going to be what? It's going to be x, and then 1 come at the bottom. Like, flip them, and then this is going to become positive. And then this is 27. Because you rest okay. So what you do, you, you make it positive, and then you flip them. So what you do here, easy, man. I'm going to say, what is x over 1? x over 1 equal to x. x over 1 is x, but we have power. 3 and then equal to 27. So now I'm gonna cube root throughout. So you cube root here because it's about 3. And then also you cube root. So this and that constant, you left with only one x. Now, which number when you multiply by itself, 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 you get 27. It's 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So the number is gonna be 3 here. It's true. X equal to 3. So this one here is not true. And according to the question, they say, uh, that does not, which doesn't. So, which one doesn't? Option 2. Option 2 is the right answer. Because option 2 will give x equal to 1 over 3, and which is not equal to 3. Easy, man. We out. <laughs> Look, man. If you face out, man, make sure you subscribe right here, okay? Thanks a lot, man. Leave a comment, man. Comments are very, very important because, you know, then... I know whether you understand or not. You know, I need a feedback all the time. You know, peace, man. Easy, man. We out.